Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And uh, okay, today's strange development is a sore throat. So let's hope I get through this video and uh, the next few days as well, because I uh, don't have anything saved up. This could be tough if the throat gets worse. Now, um, the scaffolders are finished for today. Great news, so that won't interrupt. But um, an intriguing looking puzzle with a rule set hybrid between Sudoku and a pencil puzzle, which I think is Nurikabi. And I am so unsure about basic pencil puzzles that that could be wrong. Um, but I'm really looking forward to giving this a go. I am also really looking forward to you guys having a go um, on Patreon at the Trick or Treat um, Skunk Works Collective's Patreon reward for October. It's obviously Halloween themed and it's all six by six puzzles. I have now found that they get much more difficult in the second half of the pack. Um, it is really interesting. So. I think it's a very good stepping stone pack that you can work your way through levels of difficulty. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the reception for that. I think we will get a lot more entries than we've had before for the competition. And uh, I'm delighted that that's the case. That's gonna be great. So we're looking forward to releasing that on the 1st of October. Uh, also on Patreon today, my um, solve of the Times Monthly Club special, a cryptic crossword that should come with a big old health warning because it really sends you do-lally. So um, do check that out if you're on Patreon and you're interested in the crossword content. Um, also, we've got loads of apps, of course. You can check those out on the links under the video, as well as Sven Sudoku Pad and our merchandise. Um, still thinking about whether we can produce some bit of merchandise for the as a reward in the uh, trick or treat hunt. Don't know what that would be actually, we'll see. Now, let's have a look at this puzzle. This is the first link under the video. And let us congratulate Alex C on um, their 16th birthday. They've been following the channel for four years, which, which is quite a long, that's 25% of, of Alex C's life. Um, not many of our viewers have been watching the channel for 25% of their life. And um, this is the first puzzle they've submitted to us to try. And they would have settled for a birthday wish, but we are going to have a go at the puzzle. So good news, Alex. And um, thank you very much for the kind words you've said about the channel and for sending it in. And uh, we'll see how it is. I mean, I'm, I don't think this is going to be easy. And I'm going to try and be a bit less hard on myself and just go at a, a leisurely pace, not worry if I can't make a deduction for a while and just keep going. Um, and that will all be inappropriate if it is actually easier than it looks, but it doesn't look easy to me. So what are the rules of the, happy birthday, Alex? What are the rules of this puzzle? They are normal Sudoku rules apply. We'll be putting one to nine in every row, every column and every three by three box if we finish. Shade some cells such that they form one orthogonally connected region and no two by two area is fully shaded. So this could look like something like, no, I mean, why couldn't it look like that as a shaded area? It could. Um, cells containing a large circle are unshaded all orthogonally connected unshaded regions must contain exactly one circle and the digits one to n once each, where n is the number in the circle. Okay, so they're kind of, let's imagine this was a five. It would be a five cell kind of killer cage with the digits one, two, three, four, five in it. They might go there or something. I think that's what that means, I'm pretty sure. And the biggest number in the cage will always be in the circle. Okay. Digits joined, and they're gonna form all the areas that aren't in the shaded region. Digits joined by a small white dot are consecutive, not all dots are given. It, I read that rule set before we started. It just doesn't look like enough to me, but 
Apparently this has a unique solution. See if you can find it. Um, if you just want to come along with me for the ride, then keep watching. I am going to restart my clock and say, let's get cracking. And then I'm going to just study the grid and see. Okay, we, well, it said we could unshade. Okay, I'm going to choose a shaded color and an unshaded color. Let's go with green for unshaded. Now, yes, this is good. Okay. Each um, of the kind of killer cages, the orthogonally connected unshaded green regions, must contain exactly one circle. So we can't have this cell be green or it would be connecting two circles. So that is the other color. Let's go with purple. And now the purples are the shaded and they... Actually, I'm going to change color because we're kind of forming a big sea of purple. So let's make that blue. And we're forming islands in the green. That's what they are. They're not killer caves. Well, they are, but they're islands. Okay, so I've got blue and orange. So I will understand that as we go on. Now, all the blue has to connect up. That is the shaded region that connects up. So this blue is going to have to get out on the left. This one is going to have to get out. At, sorry, that's the right. This one is going to have to get out at the bottom. And these are all separate regions, and they are the biggest number in meaning the size of their region. Okay, so this one is a one or a two. Its region... I don't think we know from the, from the colouring rules whether this is blue or orange. And I dare say we'll find out from whatever is in this cell. If that's a, ah, if that's a two, this is a one. So one of these cells is a one. And that means that these, I'm not going to pencil mark them with, with, a, with a central little two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But each of them can't have a one in. And they therefore must be referring to shapes that are bigger than one cell. So they now have to get out. Normally, orange doesn't have to get out and blue does. Yes, blue has to get out. So it has to get through that gap. And blue is always going to have to se separate oranges. So this, this region now can't be more than three. It can't run into that cell or that cell or it'll join up two circles. So this is either a two or a three. We know it's at least two cells big and the max is three. This digit is lower. It's in the region. It's a one or a two. And now we've got a pair and that's a three. And we've suddenly actually got a digit in the grid in the first three minutes. I'm quite proud of that. We now know this region is three. So that's orange. These have to be blue to avoid connecting the circles together. This is blue to get out. Look at that. Loads colored. Um, have we discovered whether this is a one or a two? No. This is a one or a two, though. Now, if this is only a two, that's one, that's two, that's one. And that's one. That looks very possible. So for this to be a low number, it's a two. Otherwise, it's bigger than four, and then this region would have... Oh, that, this region may not have to get out, but this region of C does have to get out. Okay, let's look up here. What's... Oh, what about this region? That cannot go through these cells, or it would join two, two jobbies together. So it goes up here. It could take all of, no, it couldn't take all of those. It would shut something off. So it's maximally six, but it's not one. Yeah, okay, it's this, this digit is not one or two because of this box. So that is at least a three, and it must take this cell. It could take that one, but it would still need to extend northwards. Now, we can put blue in here to separate those two orange shapes. Can we put blue here? No, this could be orange and blue could be there and then there'd be blue through here. I, th 
think this is maximally five now. Let me just test that out on you. It could have an orange cell here, but then this blue has to get out through there. Oh no, then it could be six. That's the maximum, because if that's not blue, so if this is orange, that has to be blue, and that has to be blue, and six is the maximum. If this is blue, five. Oh, so again, six is the maximum, I think. No, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. These can't both be blue because of the two by two rule. There's no two by two allowed in blue. They can't both be orange because that would connect to circles. So one is orange and one is blue. And now... They form a barrier one way or the other. If that's blue, then the C comes around here and gets out there. But if that's blue... Oh, well, the C... That's still blue. Right, that's interesting. I think the C has to get out here. Let me... Let me just make sure of that. If this is the orange cell, then all of this C has to get out through there. If this is the orange cell, that blue on its own has to get out through there. So those two are both blue. That's sort of cut this circle off a bit. This, oh... No, I was going to say it has to come up here, but it doesn't have to. If this was... Yes, it does, actually. Okay, this could be a three, this circle, at a minimum. But this cell can't be a two or a one. In fact, this cell can't be one, two, or three. If that is orange, it's at least four. And this would have to be at least five. Anyway, if it's blue, this is a three knee or more needing two cells north. So that has gone orange. And that took a lot of doing and probably wasn't helpful. There is no checkerboard rule in this puzzle. In fact, we've got checkerboards down here. I, it really confuses me sometimes because yin-yang has a no checkerboards rule. It's not strictly true. Oh yeah, it is strictly true. Yeah, there are some puzzles which have a no checkerboard rule in the two by two cell. There are some that don't have that at all. And there are some that effectively have a maximum of one of those. And I, n I have to basically work it out from first principles every time. Simon just knows which puzzle is which, which slightly irritates me. Now, this, can it be little? What I'm asking, I think, is can this be blue? No, this can't be blue. That is a good question. If this cell was blue, this orange region would be confined at a max... Oh, bother. No, I'm wrong. Oh, bother. I was going to say, well, this cannot be a two with a one there. And that's what I thought was going to happen if that was blue. But actually, maybe this could just be a one. Oh, this is weird. Okay, just take it easy. Go as slow as is necessary. And that may be very slow today. Now, we worked out, actually, this is blue because we were either running a pipe through there and out there of the sea or that cell is getting out on its own. That also would have to go through here. So that's blue. These can't both be blue because that would be a two by two blue. So at least one of them is orange. Can I do any more with this? I, don't, I can't see how. This, maybe this is obvious how this either is 
the two or absolutely can't be and must be higher. And again, I can't... Ah, oh, this isn't a one because of the white dot. You can't have a two here because of the one, two pair. Okay, so this is at least a two. It needs another orange cell. Now, what happens if that is orange? If these are both orange, these have to go blue to separate the white dots. That doesn't work. Right, this can't be orange. There's, there's, there's good. If this was orange, that has to be blue, and that's orange, and we've blocked in this bit of C. It can't get out. So that is not orange, that is blue. This is more than one, as we just found out, so it has to escape. Good. It could be a two with a three there and a one there. At least I can't prove that it's not yet. Now, this can't... Oh, this thing. I don't... Yeah, I mean... The possibility I'm trying to consider is that all of this is C and that they all link up on the left somewhere. That does seem possible. I don't want to verge towards probable, but it certainly does seem possible. I have to say, the further I progress in this puzzle, although I got a few numbers and pencil marks early, it's very hard to imagine how the numbers are going to disambiguate even if I ever manage to colour in the map of the sea. Very hard. Anyway. Anyway, that is for later. This is... I don't know. I don't even know... I mean, do I think about these? Something here must be blue. So they can't both be orange or that would connect those circles. I don't think that's what I do at this stage. I could easily be missing something about this cell. But it's more likely something going on around here. Okay, let's, let's focus a bit harder. and not worry if it takes a while to spot it. Right, I, I've been wondering for a while, this can't be a two with a, okay, if this was blue, this isn't allowed to be a two, it would have to be a one. So then we'd have all kinds of blue in this, this would all be blue. Is there a problem with that? One, two, one, two. Yeah, okay. I found a problem with it, but it's a little bit complicated. But it'll do. It'll do. If this was if this was blue, because this can't be two one, this would have to be a one. And now my brilliant question is: where does this shape get its one? It must have a one in its shape. In fact, we can already determine the one can't be here because of that one, two pair. It also can't be there for the same reason. And this shape can't get round to there. So it's one has to be in that group of cells. Now, that's very interesting. This can't be a one at the bottom anymore. And therefore, this is the one. And that colors the bottom right cell blue. This becomes two. This becomes one. I've quadrupled the number of digits I have placed. Hurrah. Now, where's this going to get its two? Not in the circle. Not there. It's again got to be in this region. Now, is that going to make this a two? Not necessarily at the moment. It's in one of those cells. Okay, this was something. Now, this isn't one, and it's not... Well, this isn't blue. That's what I found. 
because if it was, this would be a one or a two, and it can't be. So that is orange. To allow, oh yeah, we've got one and two down here. This has to be at least three. It's not gonna get much higher. Oh, hang on, ah, oh, bother. I was gonna say this shape can't turn away. It's not allowed to bump into those cells or it joins other shapes. But actually, look, it could get away up there. That's rather irritating. But can this be a three? No, can this be blue? The answer is no again. Because this can't be a two. And if it was a three, this would have to be one or two. So that's orange as well. So orange is escaping. Oh, this blue. Oh, no, I don't know if it needs to escape because it might have come from... Even if it's come from here, it needs to escape, doesn't it? Yeah. Whether this... Oh, it's just like that cell. Whether this is... If that's orange, this is a standalone bit of C. If that's orange instead, this is this bit of C, and it still needs to escape. So it does escape to there. This needs to escape again. Where, same deal. Whether it's part of that C or whether it's sta standalone. So that comes out to here. Now, can this stop here? We decided this couldn't be a... Th are we... No, we didn't decide this couldn't be a three. We were working on colors. But that is blue now because it mustn't bump into that shape. Oh, wow. I'm very keen to conclude that that's blue, but I don't do it. Now, this is either a three or a four. This could be a three in that shape. Either way round, where is this shape getting its one and two in those two cells and not? Therefore, they're looking in row three at that one. And now we've got a one, two pair up here and they are the cells contributing the one and two to this shape, which has at least got to there. I mean, this is still four, five or six. If that's a four, this is a three. What? Hang on, what's... No, this... Ah, uh, yeah, this shape is going to need a three in it as well. So that can't be a three, because then there'd be nowhere for this shape to get its three. Lovely. So that's a four. Now we know its actual shape. And we've got the C coming through this northern pipe and going out this way. Right, that's a three to make up the numbers there. This needs a three in it, which is there. It can't be more than five cells big, so it's four or five. And if it was five, that would have to be a four. So that is not happening. It's four cells big. We're not allowed a two by two, so that goes in blue. We're not allowed a two by two. Now, this can't be a one. Or, oh, look, this can't be four, one, two, three, or four. This is at least five. And therefore, the bigger number in its circle is at least six. And that, well, it's going to go to there immediately. That's four cells big. It could, no, it can't take this. That would cut off C. Oh, yeah, this C needs to get out. So that's blue. So this at least six shape goes to there. This is blue to separate circles. Now the six shape goes to at least there. And now I don't know whether this C comes out south or goes west. But that was progress. This digit is not one, two, three, or four either. So this shape is at least yay big, at least five big. And it can only take that cell in box one. So it's got to come down here. Now we can separate it from these other formative shapes. And it's still got more to go. I want to say it can't go there, but that would be risky. This could still be a one or something. I mean, it could easily be a two or a one at the moment. There might be some sort of holistic size limitation on these circles now. Oh, and we've forever ended the notion that we were going to get a set of one to nine in the circles, which I was wondering about. 
Wow, this is clever. This is clever stuff, Alex. I like it. I'm very entertained already. Now, here's, a, here's an exciting question. Well, this is the sort of question that excites me. Where does that digit go in this shape? Because it must be in there somewhere. And the whole point of that is it's not in row one. So it must be in one of those two cells. And they are orange and part of that top row shape. I'm tempted to believe it has to be here, but that's risky. Now, this shape, did I know this couldn't be a two? No, I don't think I do know it can't be a two. That's really annoying because this is going to have to get out, isn't it? That could be a two with a three here and a one here. Those are all right. You get a one, two, X. Ah. Um. If it's not two, it's got to be bigger. That's a knowledge bomb, isn't it? But it's actually got to be quite a bit bigger, perhaps. Yes, this is very interesting. If this is not two, where is the shape going to get its ones and twos? This would be at least four, because you couldn't put a two one pair there. Now, you could get a one or a two here, but you can't in, in these cells. So it would have to come outside the box if this is not a two. And it, it can't crash into this shape, which is at least five. Ah, oh, it's a freaky bit of the puzzle. Oh, look, four and four, Sudoku. I get a four there. Um, somebody who was, who was pathetic would fill five, six, seven, eight, nine in as candidates in those cells. Oh, that turned out to be me. Um, now. Yeah, I, I've really got to focus on this idea of where all the little digits go in the bigger boxes. Because that's really interesting to this puzzle. And, well, and this C has to get out, doesn't it? Oh, that's very constraining. Right, if this shape was bigger than a two, because this C has to get out, it would have to come down like this to get its low digits. And then the C would be coming out here. Well, maybe down the bottom, but would certainly be filling those cells, cutting this down to a 2-1, which is okay because that is big. However, the alternative is that there is C here, and this is a 2-1. And then you can't put a 1 here, so this is not a 2. Now this is bigger now, and this has to get out, but it's got a bit of room to work with. Bother. Okay, take it easy. Take it easy. These are also from five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, that's quite interesting here because if that was orange, this would be at least a six. These would connect up and we'd have, wow, we'd have regions filling those cells and these cells probably. Something like that, at least. And what price the C then? Does that come down column two? Probably does. Ah, yeah, I don't know. And this has got to get a one and a two in. And if this is bigger, it would also have to get a one and a two in. Oh my goodness, there's gonna be a dearth of ones and twos around. 
but but at this stage I need to just find something to get me moving forward. It's difficult though, it's difficult. What is obvious about this pattern? This shape is at least five big and it could take, well, could it take that? This would be blue. No, this can't take that cell, that's quite interesting because this would be blue to separate these two shapes. That blue would have to get out through there, and now you couldn't fit this digit into this shape where it's got to be. So that is not orange, that is blue now. Now, can this be orange? Can this? Oh, I don't know. No, let's start here. If this was orange, does look possible but there'd have to be some oh no maybe think about if this is orange because remember this shape has to get into row two to get that into it so if this was orange I don't think this is possible this shape would have to come to that cell and that would be blue and would be shut in. If that was orange, that would be orange too, and blue in the corner would be shut in. So that is blue. Right. Now, I was gonna now extend this orange down, but it could be a one. This blue, uh, has to, this orange has to come into row two. Can that be orange? I think it can now. These could both be blue, as long as it all joins up. And anyway, this orange could be that shape, in which case blue wouldn't even have to get out of here. It could come round here. Oh, bother. Um, ah, let's just remember what shape this had to be if it's bigger than two. Because that was quite interesting. Because of the C below it having to get out, it was going to have to come here. Now, then it would have to come here at least. Now, what's that done to this shape? That would have to come precisely this way. Cutting off the one island, not achieving its own one yet. Wow, this, this is, and, and it's cut off all the northern sea. Yeah, the sea doesn't now connect up to the bottom left corner. Right, perfect. That's what happened if this is not a two. Then it has to be at least a four because it's gonna have to get a one and a two on it. It's gonna have to come out that way. This is gonna have to go there and the sea is all separated and that's no good. So this is a two. That is a complicated deduction in my book. Whoa, lovely though. Half an hour in, I feel I'm beginning to get to grips with some of the puzzle. This has gone blue because we've cut down this section. So that, the trouble is so that C can get out, but now it can get out in either place because this has got more freedom. That's so weird. Um, Right, but let's just use it. Now, this can't be a one, so this can't be a two. So this is bigger than one, two, three, or four. This is at least five again. This digit is at least four. And this needs to get a one and a two into this shape. And they've got to be, at least in this column, so the shape keeps going. That extends the blue C at the bottom. We can't have two by two blue. I almost forgot that. So that's orange. This blue has to get out there. Now, this shape is at least five big and still needs to get a two and a one on it. I suppose, well, it's going to be at least six big then because in those four cells, it has not got a two or a one anywhere. So this is at least a six. 
And where's this shape going to go? It's going to have to get out somewhere in this region. Uh, does it have to get out? No, it could actually be confined there. Which would help this a lot. Oh, crikey, yeah. If this tried to come out there, this shape gets absolutely hamstrung. And the C has got cut off. At it. Ah, no, 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 the C. Yeah, yeah, this can't be part of this shape. Maybe even that can't be. How would the C connect up? Okay, here's how. If that was orange, there's only one way to do this. And this, this shape still hasn't got... Right, I think the question now is, can this be blue? And I think the answer is no, because this six shape would have to come to there. And then this five shape would block off the C. So that is not blue. That is orange. Now we are allowed two by two orange. So I don't know about this one. I feel like this has to be a one or a two, but I haven't got that done yet. There's a one, two pair, just Sudoku sitting in those cells. That can't be a one by that reasoning. But this shape's second one or two, it can have one of them there, but where's it going to get its next one? It's going to have to come into this box. Or, well, it's going to have to come at least into this box to get a one or a two. Can't just do that, or... Maybe it can. <laughs> um, could just do that. Oh, this blue's getting out further since we extended the orange. And the orange still needs one more cell. So, well, at least one more cell. I mean, I don't know which, but it needs one more. That can't be a four by Sudoku. I've only just realized. Um, and this shape is going to need a four on it. Actually, yes, what... I don't know. I'm, I'm very interested in where this shape is getting all its low digits, but it rather depends on its actual size. Ah, oh, this is weird, isn't it? Um, now, that can't be a 2, because it would need a 1 here, and that can't be a 1, so that's not a 2. I, I want to say this can't be bigger. I suppose it would be five, six, seven, eight, or nine as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, this isn't going to work. That would have to come down here. This one would have to be a five that literally stopped there. This would then come down to there. Can that work? And I mean, I suppose this left-hand one could come round the corner as well. Oh, it seems incredibly unlikely. There must be a reason this doesn't work. Right, there is. This one can't get... Oh, it could have a one and a two there, four there, three there. It can. That is freakish. This could just work. And all I'm trying to do is stop this being a five and make it a one. And I think I can very nearly do it. Let me think about it a little bit more. Just be calm about it. If this was a five or more, it has to come down here because this is forced to come down exactly there. Five, four, three, well, we, I think we would know exactly how it would go. It would go five, two, three, four, one, I think. Although it might be five, one, three, four, two.
And this one, which would have to be at least five, the only places it can go include those cells. And it can't go there because that C mustn't get cut off. Oh, that's so annoying. I cannot prove that it stops here. Very nearly, but not quite. Okay, let's let's think more about more about which of the shapes. This one can that come out? Because that's very constraining as well. If that comes out, this can't do its five down. Ah, this can't do five down at all because this needs another shape. There, another cell. There we go. So for this to be more than a one, it has to come all the way down here to allow this to come down here, but that breaks this lower submarine shape. Right. Sorry, that took ages. That is a one. That is surrounded by C. That is not a one. Now, where's this going to get its one? In box seven or maybe... Yeah, in box seven. It can't be there because it's... That's, if that's orange, it's part of the submarine shape. So this is going to get its one in one of these cells. So it's got to come into box seven. And this has to extend somewhere. So if this extended to there, this would have to sort of come through there. I'm trying to allow the C to get around. And actually, we'd end up with a two by two bit of C in the bottom left. That's really weird. So if this was orange, this needs to come and get its one. It can't go to the corner. Oh, it could. Oh, it could. It could. We haven't blocked off the C completely from the bottom. So this can extend out to there. And of course... Oh, it's so different. There's so many sort of contingencies here. Because we mustn't block off this bit of C either. So if that came to there, it then can't go into column one. So if that comes to there, it must probably stop here. Yeah, okay, if this shape was to come... So if this is orange, that's what we're on, we're on about at this moment. If this cell is orange, this shape is coming here. It's still got to get into box 7 to get a 1. But it's got to allow the submarine shape at the bottom to complete and the C to get out. And I think... Yeah, then the submarine shape has to complete here. Now, the only alternative is that this, if that's not orange, the shape's going to have to go here. Now the C, it's got, still got to get into this box, but the submarine shape needs another cell. And we don't want to block off the C. I don't know. This is so difficult. One of these four is the one for this shape. Which one is it? Ah, it's doing my head in. It's doing my head in. This is difficult. It's very entertaining, but it's very difficult for me. The trouble is, the last step wasn't that hard. It just took me ages to see it. So that could be happening again. Mm. Okay, let's go back up the top and think about these. They, they can't both be blue 
for two reasons. One is a two by two, and one is because this needs to come into column, into row two, because of that. This, by the way, cannot be a six anymore because you can't make that set of cells five, four, three, two, one because they break that. Not that exciting, but still, if I notice anything, I'm telling you these days. Now, I mean, in this puzzle, one is in one of those, two is in one of those. That's just Sudoku. That's quite interesting, though, because this shape needs a one and a two. And this shape needs a one and a two. And the only available ones and twos are two from here, one there, and two in box seven. So there are five available for the required four tiny digits. <sighs> no, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Come on, what's going on? They do also need threes, and I suppose three are available, including in those cells. Okay, come on, need to rededicate myself and figure out what is actually going on. Okay, let's, let's do this shape again. And I think that is difficult, even. And it could go further. Okay, the reason I think that is difficult is because it forces this shape, which can't cut off any C, but must get into box seven to get a one, Oh, it's one would now have to be here. And then to not cut off the C. See, that's very interesting. Yeah, okay. There we go. Right, if this is in the submarine, then the one for this shape is going to have to be in this cell. Remember, we've got these ones in the grid saying one can't be there. So, these are all orange in, that, in this supposition. And, and bizarrely now, this shape coming down the grid has either got to come to column one and cut off the bottom bit of blue, or it's got to leave a two by two in the bottom left. And both of those are fouls in this puzzle. So that is not orange, that is complicated. That is blue, this is orange. Now, I don't know that that finishes off this shape, although I suspect it does. Um, yeah, it does, because if that was orange, this shape, to get into box seven for its one, well, it, I mean, it would have to get the one there, and it's definitely cutting off C. So that's blue. This shape is finished. This is a six in its circle. That's a five. We might be able to fill in all these digits. That's where the one and two are in the shape. And we can fill in three and four. I can't actually separate the one and two. I can't resolve them, but that is progress. Now, this shape has to come through that cell. Don't know which, well. No, as long as it stays snaking, one way or the other. It can't have a two by two because then it would block off the C. But as long as it doesn't try to... Now, it's one is going to be in one of those cells. And one of them is orange. And I think, therefore, it can't be... This can't be blue, surely. Because then orange would have to snake around here and wherever you put orange now in box four, it's going to cut off some C. So that's orange. I'm not saying it's one, but it is orange. In fact, it can't be one because that would be two and break this. Good grief. So that's where the one is in the big shape. 
That feels absolutely weird. But I think it's right. That's a two. That's a one. That's not a one. I'm calling it the big shape because it's now at least seven big. Now, there's a one in one of those cells. Where is this getting its one? It's got to be there. That makes this a two in the corner. One there. Where's two in this shape? That is the digit in row two. Where's two in this shape? No, that's not useful. Okay, I'm going to do more, more candidate marking, just because I can. That can't be five or six. In fact, none of these can be six. There is a six in one of those, so no six in those cells. Now, I just need to know the sizes in these circles, and we are off. That's at least seven. We need, oh, we need another... I have a feeling this is going to be a seven that way or that way, but yeah, that's yes. Okay. It's uh, that is weirdly clear. If that's orange, this blue needs to get out through there and this is restricted to seven. If that's orange, this blue needs to get out through there and this is restricted to seven. So this is a seven. That's fabulous. That's lovely logic, Alex. Lovely. So this is a seven. Now, where, what can we place on it? Well, I don't know if that... That isn't a two. Yeah, this is a seven. One of these two is orange. The rest of this stuff is all blue. Bam. Nearly finished the colouring. Five cells to go. Now, where can two be on this? It's got to be here. Everything else... No. No, no, no. It's definitely not here, sorry, because one and three are used in that row and there's a white dot. So the two is there. Um, now, we've also got to put three, four on it. That's not so obvious to me. Well, the three is going to be in one of those cells and it can't be there because of the white dot again. You see the job the white dots are doing? Excellent. There's the three, the four on this. Well, that could be in any one of these three. We, I kind of ran out of, uh, of real estate here. That is five or six. This is four, five or six. It's very odd, and maybe I've misunderstood, but I don't know which of those is blue or orange, and either allows the C to work. They do have actually some impact on the C up here, because if that's orange, that has to be blue. Actually, if that's orange, that has to be blue to get these out. So that is blue. Okay, good. So that's orange. That's where we get the two in the top shape, not there. Obviously, this corner is orange. Two cells to color, but now this shape size is eight. That can't be an eight. And this is where nine goes in the top row. And nine doesn't go in those cells. Still struggling to see how we're going to get to finish the numbers in this puzzle a bit, but at least we're getting quite a few in the grid. Oh, it's very clever though, isn't it? Right, one, seven, two. Um, this is five, six, or no, well, five or six, it can't be seven. So that's a five, six pair, which is a strange find. That can't be six. That can't be five. This can't be five. Now on the white dot here, which wasn't doing much until maybe now. They can't be six by Sudoku. Six is in one of those two cells. Four is in one of those two, and four is placed in column six and has been for a while that I didn't see. And there's a four up there. Now, let's think about the small digits in the top row. Threes in one of those places. This can't be from four, five, and six, or that we'd have four of them in the column. So it's... 
either using seven or nine as the odd digit. Um, it feels very weird not to be able to finish that shape off. And every, all the other shapes actually are filled in as far as I can, in a way. I mean, I know what's going to con constitute this region. Right, come on, two in column two. There it is, down at the bottom. Therefore, that's not two, and that is. That's probably all the twos in the grid done. It looks like it, yep. How are we doing for threes? Do a bit of a methodical approach. We get a three in one of those two cells. And in column one and two, right, three in box seven is definitely in the corner. Hurrah, that's three in the corner. That's three in the spot. Light, proving its position and giving us an X-wing on threes, which will, of its nature, put one of them in the shape. Three, two, one, five, six. We can place four in this box. That one is seven, eight, or nine. That four, looking up, not getting much done. Ah, but this orange shape needed a four, and now we know that's here. So its other cell is five or six up in one of those two. I can't believe that that's not finished yet. It's very, very irritating. Um, now, those can't be eight. We've only got six, seven, and nine to place in this column. Eight, four, two, one, nine. Oh, goodness, there's still quite a bit to do. Now, can that be six? What would the implications of that be? You'd have seven here. I don't know. I couldn't, I couldn't see what that was definitely doing. One of those is definitely a five. One, two, three. Oh, four in the row is there, not here. Uh, must be able to do the last four in the grid. There we go. Or that I haven't been able to finish threes. Do I really need to look at fives? How are fives coming along? We've got that five, six pair. I don't think that's a way to solve the puzzle, actually. But then I'm taking it handy, just getting there, making sure. That's what I'm doing today, making sure of the solve. Um, hmm. There must be a seven in one of those two cells in this box. So I can eliminate that. Now, seven has to be on this circle, on this uh, consecutive dot. So nine isn't. Now nine is in one of those three cells and not in those, well, one of these two cells in box one. Oh, hang on, hang on. This can't be the five or six on the orange shape because it would put the same digit in there, wouldn't it? Oh, that's lovely. So this is the orange five or six, which has to be a six. That finishes all the coloring. The C is all joined up. This is now a seven. Ah, that's clever. That is clever. That's neat. Nice work, Alex, again. Six can't be there. Six can't be in those cells. The six in column one is in box one. That is five or eight. Right, now that must have done something. None of these can be a six. That can't be an eight. It hasn't been able to be for a while. This looks like the only place for six in box three. And one of these, in fact, that one is a six. Right, that's on a dot with a seven. Finished a box. Getting very close to finishing another box. Eight, seven, six. This is five or nine. One of those is seven, so that isn't. Um, now this 
shape up at the top? No, it doesn't really matter. I've done enough work to know that whenever I get that filled in, it'll be right. This, I know, is where five goes in the, in the box. Yeah, it is. And this is eight. Now, that means that's not five. One, five, so we've got three, eight, nine. That is a naked three, which is the three in the orange shape. This is an eight, nine pair. Can't quite resolve those yet. This is seven, eight, or nine. Four, three, one, eight, nine, two. These include a six. They are five from five, six, and seven. That can't be eight. That and that can't be seven anymore. We've got a five, eight pair, that's a seven. I do swear by pencil marking the only place for eight in the middle row is there. And I think that's gonna get us home, which is an absolute delight. Six, seven, nine, five, gonna come in under the hour if I don't slip up at this point. And I'm quite pleased with that for this puzzle. It does not strike me as easy. Uh, we get five, nine, that's become a six, look at that. That's become a seven. And we are very nearly done. Row six to finish seven, oh no, row one, I didn't see seven and six. There we go. There is our map and our island. And wow, that's lovely. What a fun puzzle. Excellent, thank you, Alex. Happy birthday to you. Many more years of puzzling with cracking the cryptic ahead of you, I hope. And, uh, I look forward to your next construction efforts as well. That's been great fun. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.